Hey there, it is Gloria, AKA Laboom Like, and today I am gonna be giving you my pattern review of this pattern over here. It is Very Easy Vogue 9361. Let's see how easy it was. So I am wearing <laughs> the Vogue pants that I have told you about. It is, like I said, Vogue 9361. Um, I'm going to hop to the side so that you can see more video of these pants over here. But I want to give you a quick review. Um, the TLDR is these are great wide leg pants. They look good. I think it's stiffer and in flowier fabrics. And they this pattern is a really good bridge from beginner to intermediate sewing. Um, so yeah, that's the TLDR. But let's get into it using the sewing pattern review outline. First things first, the pattern description. Um, according to the back of the envelope, they are semi-fitted pants with a fly front flared leg and a waistband with pocket and length variations. So I made view C, which has those 70 style pork chop pockets. And while they say that they're a flared leg, I, I would just say that this is a wide leg. I don't think it really goes in and flares out in any kind of a way. Um, but I think it's easy enough to add that into the pattern. The Next thing is the pattern sizing. This is a big four pattern, and I think you can get the patterns from size six to 14, and then I believe 16 to, oh, six to 14, and then 14 to 22. What that means is you can go from, oh, this is why I don't like the finished garment measurements aren't on the envelope so you have to look inside and I don't remember what they were inside but you can go from a recommended like body measurement of a 32 and a half inch hip up to a 46 inch hip which um let's get into my sizing for this which is helpful so these are my current measurements I think same measurements from when I made this pair of pants about a week or so ago and Going by my measurements and the finished garment measurements that I found on the paper, I really should have been making a size 18 or 20. I was gifted this pattern from Minerva, Minerva.com, in exchange for my review on their website. So you can find that on the website there. But I was given the pattern in the size band from 6 to 14 which I was a little worried about. I was thinking I would need to make a 16. So what I did is I cut around the 14 and I just added about a half inch, somewhere between a quarter and a half inch on the sides. And instead of taking a five eighths um, seam allowance on everything, I took a half inch seam allowance. So effectively graded up to a size 16. But if you can see these pants, let me get a little closer to you are pretty loose. They're much looser than I'd like them to be. I think I need about a half inch or so taken in from both sides. <laughs> I forgot how denim behaves. Even though I pre-washed and tried to shrink this denim, I haven't really sewn with denim that much and I didn't realize how much it would loosen up a little bit over time. So it's nice and loose. It's still comfortable. I don't think it's too, too big. And what I'm gonna end up doing is just kind of adding an extra fastening, like a quarter inch in, to give me just a little bit more security there. So it can sit on the part of my waist that I want it to sit on. But that all goes to say that I think this is one of those patterns where if normally in big four, I make a size 14, 16, looking at this pattern, I should have just made a straight size 14 and it would have been just fine. Like my, my hips don't necessarily go out very much, but I go back <laughs> a little bit more. And usually I have to make a little bit of an adjustment for myself, but I made this 
pretty much straight through, just taking the seam allowance a little bit differently. And I would say it's a little too big. So if you find that big four patterns tend to be a little big on you, you can, I think, go with your normal adjustments for this pattern. Oh, other thing about this pattern is I am 5'4", and I, I cut the regular size pattern, and I feel like this must be a petite size because it is just kind of hovering for me. Like, normally I would want to wear something wide leg like this with boots, and I can't really wear this with boots. This is for flats, this is for sneakers, this is for just like a teeny tiny little heel on someone who's 5'4". So if you are taller than me, you might want to add some extra length to these. If you are more petite, if you are under 5'4", these might be a good pattern to make straight out at the regular length and you can wear them with maybe your boots with your regular shoes, stuff like that. Next up, did it look like the photo on the envelope when I was done sewing with it? So it's not a photo, it's, it's a picture, which the pictures are always a little deceiving. In the picture on the envelope, it appears as if it sits a little lower on the waist. And as you can see, it's just above my belly button. And being that I made this out of a heavyweight denim and the recommended fabrics are a little bit lighter weight, it doesn't look like the same exact amount of flow. It's a little bit more structured. But besides that, like it pretty much goes with what the images are on the envelope. Now we get to instructions. For the most part, the instructions were pretty simple to follow, especially for view C. Um, I have a, a bit of a fear of fly front zippers. And the last time I did a successful fly front, I used the Brittany J. Jones's tutorial for fly front zippers and that helped me get through it. But I wanted to try and just follow the directions and logic my way through it so I can get more and more comfortable with fly front zippers. That part was the only kind of confusing part. I think the pictures for the fly front zipper could be a little bit better, but the actual instructions are pretty good. One thing that they don't tell you to do is, um, you know, it is a big four pattern, so they don't really tell you a good time to finish certain scenes or not. They just want all your stuff to be like janky on the inside. So finishing seams is something that all of the big four, I think especially things made before this big new switch up that the big four patterns have done, they need to do a better job of telling beginner sewers, especially because this is marked very easy vogue. They need to do a better job of telling you when to finish seams. I think they didn't really give a lot of, um, under stitching instructions i i have to check back again and see give me one second let me check on this yes i did check to be sure um in making the waistband when you put these two pieces together so you make the the waistband and you make the waistband facing you sew them together and you sew it to the pants Maybe the other way, you sew the facing, you sew the waistband to the pants and then you sew the facing onto that. But in any case, they don't tell you to understitch. And I'm gonna see, um, I might just have to insert a picture or something. They don't tell you to understitch onto the waistband facing so that things lay flat and turn inside. And I think that is a, yes, it makes the sewing faster if you don't understitch, but I do think it's a simple enough part of pants to understitch that you can tell beginners to do it and make their make end up just a lot nicer. That's one thing I wish they would have put in the instructions. So even though I'm not going through a numerical grading, I would give it like a four out of five for the instructions. Um, what did I particularly like or dislike about the pattern? I like the style lines of this pattern. Oh, it's getting dark. Let me give myself some more light so that you guys can actually see me. Okay, I hope that's better. The sun actually just came out from a cloud, but we're getting to that part of year where the sun goes down at like 3 p.m. So can't help you too much. But um, 
So what I particularly liked or disliked, I, I do like that it does not have that many pieces to make some really lovely pants. Like the one thing I would really like are some back pockets, but I don't mind that there are no back pockets because if I just made this again in like a simple rayon twill or something or made it as some wool pants with the other pocket variation, I would really like these pants. They are easier to make than it seems like they should be. Um, I really, really like this style of patch pocket. I like the pork chop pocket. I like that for someone with um, more curvy hips, and if you have curvier hips than me too, um, inseam pockets tend to kind of like not quite lay flat the way I like them to. So a pocket construction like this gives me something I can actually use that also keeps the style line that I like while I'm wearing the pants. So I really, really like that. And then I also like that you can make this pattern look super traditional in a different kind of fabric and you can make it look a little bit more trendy and youthful in something like a structured denim. Um, these pants remind me of Jenko's from when I was in like junior high. I feel like you could very easily just like add the carpenter loop, put some really low back pockets on these and you've got your own Bobo pair of Jenko's. What I did not like about this is I don't really love the waistband. I do like how wide it is, but I don't like this tab like overlay as much. And I'm gonna have to add a second loop. I don't know if you can see how, it's a nice curved waistband, which I really enjoy because in the back when I sit down, I don't have to worry about showing more than I want to show. But I don't like how in the front the curve doesn't quite sit the way I need it to. I'm going to add a second hook inside so that this part of the band can just sit flat the way I want it to. But otherwise, I do like this. Again, the fabric that I used was a heavyweight denim. I don't know the, exactly the proper weight for it since I did thrift this fabric at a secondhand sewing shop. But it's on the heavier side. Um, it's not a flowy denim at all. And then pattern alterations. I already told you the only alterations I made was to add about between a quarter and a half inch on the seam allowance at the waist and the sides and inseam. And then I took a half inch seam allowance when I was actually sewing it up. Besides that, I didn't make any other adjustments. Usually when I'm making pants, I shorten the front rise by about a half an inch or so. And I could have done that here. I think the next time I make these pants, I'll do that again. Shorten the front rise and probably just take the waist in a little bit um, and do it with a different fabric. And finally, would I make it again and do I recommend it to others? I recommend this pants pattern to folks who have a similar like um, issue with side seam pockets and want this patch pocket detail and also who are interested in doing a fly front. If you're okay with a fly front, I think this could be a great pants pattern because it's pretty versatile. Will I make it again? Probably. <laughs> I'm a slow sew it, so I want to make it again, but I do recognize that there are like 80 other patterns on my to sew list. But all in all, I think I would give this pattern a, ooh, this is hard. I think I give the pattern a four and a half out of five. <laughs> I did not use the recommended fabric and it still turned out pretty good. And it looks like a much more involved make than it actually was. And I like that payoff with this pattern. There are minor tweaks that I would need to make to it, and I can't give any pattern a five if they don't give me useful finished garment measurements on the back of the envelope. For what reason do I need the side length from the waist on the envelope? For what reason do I need the width of each leg when you already told me how much fabric I need to buy? Give me the waist measurement, give me the hip measurement. This other stuff makes no sense. But that is my review <laughs> of Vogue 9361. 
I'm not sure if it's in print anymore, but I think it's still available in a, in the back of the Joanne cabinets. You can find it online still. I know that they have it at Minerva because I just reviewed it and they are selling it online. So yeah, hopefully this was a helpful review for you guys and you enjoyed it. I will see you next time over here on Lagoon Like. Peace.